Planet Zoo is officially coming to consoles! We have some major news about Planet Zoo and I know that so many of you will be so happy about this because I saw all of those comments and questions asking for the console edition of this game and it is finally here! Well, it is almost here because it will be released on the 26th of March. Planet Zoo the console edition will be available on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S. Frontier has shared with me some interesting news about the console edition, so let's go through all of that while this amazing, amazing trailer will be playing in the background. God, I just love this trailer so much! Hello guys, this is Caesar Creates and welcome back to my channel! Now, before we'll talk more about the console edition of Planet Zoo, I am sure that a lot of you are wondering if the console version means the end of the Planet Zoo support for the PCs. We don't have any answers in here, it wasn't confirmed that it is ending, uh, but if we'll take Planet Coaster into consideration, I know that the console edition sort of like ended the support for PC, but it is still not confirmed, so I am keeping my hopes high, especially that they announced that there will be a at least one more DLC coming out this year in their financial report so I am crossing my fingers that it is true and that there will be at least one more DLC coming to us PC players. Okay so as I told you the Planet Zoo console edition will be coming out on March 26 but you can already pre-order it and if you'll do so you'll get free exclusive animals at launch. The Thompson's Gazelle, the Komodo Dragon and the Pygmy Hippo and I would really recommend to pre-order the game because those are really solid additions. Now, if you are wondering if all the DLCs that were released for PC version will also be available for consoles, the answer is yes. They'll be coming to Planet Zoo console edition after launch and you'll have to additionally purchase the season pass to have the access to all the DLCs. All the season pass content will be released by March 2025, which means that all the DLCs will be coming out probably one by one till March 2025. And to get the access to them, you'll have to buy the Season Pass. The console edition will launch complete with over 4 years worth of improvements, 15 free future updates and numerous quality of life improvements from the PC edition. You also might be wondering if there are some differences between the Planet Zoo console edition and the PC version and there are some slight differences, of course the console is operated by the gamepad so the game will be gamepad accessible so you'll be fully able to play it only using Using your gamepad, but if you prefer your mouse and keyboard, Planet Zoo Console Edition will also be launching with mouse and keyboard support on console. So all you have to do is connect your mouse and keyboard to your console and I think that it will be so much easier for you to play this game because there are so many shortcuts and so many things that it's just it's easier to do on keyboard than on the gamepad. And another thing that is new and I assume is familiar to people who played the uh, console edition of the Planet Coaster, they added the complexity meter which ensures the smooth performance of your Zeus. It sort of shows you how many pieces you can still add to your Zeus to ensure that the perf performance is good. I'm not sure that it just, you know, limits you and you cannot add any more if you reach 100% but yeah, there's this complexity meter that is also new. There will also be a workshop for the console edition and it will feature the console cross-platform support which means that for example players from PlayStation 5 will be able to uh, upload their creations to the workshop and the players from Xbox will be able to download them and use them in their Zeus which is so cool unfortunately it won't work with the PC version uh, so you guys will start with a totally blank <laughs> workshop and we will have to fill it in with your creation However, the animal market won't be cross-platform, which means that trading animals will only be possible with other players on the same console. Now let's talk about how much this will all cost. Uh, so there will be three different versions of the console edition, the base game edition, the deluxe edition and the ultimate edition. And the prices should be listed now on the screen in different currencies. So let's quickly go through all of those editions. The base game 
It's pretty obvious, you just get the game without any additions, but the game itself is wonderful, so you don't really need them to enjoy the game. And then we have the Deluxe Edition, and the Deluxe Edition comes with 16 additional annuals and two different uh, additional scenarios. And those 16 additional animals are actually animals from two uh, different animal packs. The Wetlands Pack, which for me personally is one of the best DLCs, uh, and the Southeast Asia Animal Pack. And you get the scenarios from those and also the animals of course so animals like capybara the red crowned crane and the binturong will be here in this deluxe edition when it comes to the ultimate edition you'll get the deluxe edition in here so all the 16 uh, animals that you just saw and also a season pass which will feature 14 future dlcs containing over 80 different animal species 15 campaign scenarios and over 2000 additional scenery pieces and all all those DLCs will be available by March 2025, so they will probably be coming out, you know, gradually, uh, one by one. Uh, and the season pass, you can also purchase it separately without the ultimate edition if you'll change your mind later on and you want to just test the base game at first, you can do so. And this is basically all that I know about the console edition of Planet Zoo. Uh, thank you Frontier for sending me in some information a bit earlier, this always means the world. Uh, and this is both very exciting and very like sad. It is a very bittersweet moment for me because it is exciting because our community is just be getting bigger. A lot of console players that were not able to play the game before will now be able to play it. So uh, there's a lot of new players coming to our community, which is so awesome. I am very hopeful for more views under the videos. No, I'm joking. Uh, but also it is a bittersweet moment because I am assuming that this means the end of the support of the game like uh, I am still hoping that there will be at least one DLC coming out but the news and the things that I am reading here for example the next 14 DLCs that will be coming they are spe specifically talking about 14 DLCs they are mentioning this specific number they are not mentioning uh, about any you know upcoming new content or anything but we'll see of course I am still like crossing my fingers I am still uh, hoping that there will be at least one more DLC more or maybe five. <laughs> Let's hope so. This of course means that I am not going anywhere, we will still continue building in Planet Zoo, I am still hoping that even more people will follow my journey of building the zoos in here, so that part makes me super excited for the future. I just wanted to say one more thing, I just love this trailer, it makes me so excited for the game even though I know what it's all about, but it looks so good and I relate so much to this cheeky little lemur that is in here. <laughs> That's basically me. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I always love to share those news with you guys. And I also love to read your comments of you telling me what you think about those news. So definitely share with me down in the comments if you are excited for the release of the Planet Zoo console edition. If you liked the video and would like to see more of those, please consider to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Ring the bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a video like this give this video big thumbs up down below and if you like to support the channel a little bit extra you can do it with the join button down below thank you guys so much for watching have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one bye guys